Hello, I'm Howie Sharif, founder and director of You Call This Yoga, the educational nonprofit for which we're doing this virtual fundraiser. We're going to have Amy Rockwell as a guest on the show to share some of her special facts about her and styles. But first we'll explain what we're doing here, which is looking to raise money to support our worldwide accessible yoga for 2021. We're trying to raise $8,000 on this day of donation classes with raffles for day of event donors. Our programs are reaching around the world and Amy is part of our team that is sharing some active yoga practices for healing. That has a unique element about it and that's why we're gonna have Amy here to share more. Good morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. Hello, Amy. Hello, I'm excited to be here and getting to talk to everybody about, um, about You Call This Yoga Organization and my practice. And um, yes, again, good morning, afternoon or evening. <laughs> and Amy, tell us about you. What what's, what makes Amy special? Well, first and foremost, I am a mother. I have twins that are 25. And they uh, went from being, you know, my babies and my whole life. I was a single mother for a very long time. So my world revolved around them to now they are grown women and they are my best friends. And I think that's always what starts me. I'm a mother first and foremost. But anyhow... Also, I'm a, I've been a fitness professional for most of my life, and I was in corporate fitness for about 20 years, and about a year and a half ago, I left to be a full-time dog walker and yoga instructor. Mm -hmm. So, um, I just, uh, I've been in fitness for a long time, but yoga was really spoke to me, and um, got certified, and just thought this is something that I could do all day, every day for the rest of my life. And I'd love to share it with everybody. And so I still do a lot of other fitness, teach a lot of other fitness, but yoga is kind of just where my heart is, I suppose. And um, so when finding you call this yoga is a really big deal for me, which I'd like to talk about. <laughs> Beautiful. It is a wonderful community. And we'd like to have you share a little bit more as a teacher, what makes you call this yoga compelling? When I first got involved, it was really great because I didn't know anything about it. And I was one of my very best friends who's a yoga instructor I trained with, asked me to sub for her and teach with her. So the connection from my yoga friend was really great. And then I thought, oh my gosh, I can teach yoga to people that really, really need it in a different way than everybody that can kind of come to a studio and you know, just get there and spend a lot of money and have a lot of time, it seemed like. So the mission of You Call This Yoga to have um, provide accessible yoga to everyone. And um, I just started teaching to these, to these women and men that um, they just were very, very grateful. And it just was a whole different experience for me to have, they, it seemed like I just kept, they coming up to me, thank you, thank you. And I thought, well, this is, I'm doing this, you know, I don't know. I hadn't been a lot of thank yous after yoga. So it made me realize how much they must have really appreciated and needed it. And um, I, and then after that, I thought, well, I do have a lot of people in my life who've been touched by cancer. My, one of my best friends, my aunt, my, my sister-in-law have all had breast cancer. And I thought, wow, I have multiple people in my life. And so then I started inviting them to the classes and, and um, anyhow, so I guess, just providing that cancer to people who just really, the yoga to people who really, really appreciated it in a whole different way. It was pretty great. Yes, viewers, Amy's been part of our team of teachers that had been teaching to people touched by cancer in the Triangle area. We've modified the classes to make it more open for anyone that needs healing. Uh, but that's been some of the focus and we've had support from Waverly Hematology Oncology who's now owned by American Oncology Network. So we appreciate their support. We do seek support for other teachers though, who are like Amy, who are trying to share their passion. And that's why we're asking you to donate today and continue the mission of You Call This Yoga to enhance well-being with accessible yoga. Amy, I think it's time for a, a tip to share with folks what you like conceptually like people to experience 
in the practice of yoga. Can you share a one minute concept with us? Well, yes. Um, so I do teach a variety of different styles of yoga, um, a sort of a gentle, a stretch, maybe a power yoga. And I teach the an, an energy flow with you call this yoga and on Tuesday nights. But all of my yoga, no matter where I am, who I'm teaching to, what the definition of the practice that day might be, always spending a lot of time in sort of an arrival phase I'm a meditative mindfulness and connecting to breath every single time. So <clears throat> I think that, and that is something that you can do at any time. Every time I begin a yoga class, I always kind of tell people you've already begun your practice by just making the decision to be there. You've carved out this time in your day. You've found a quiet space these days in your home and you've made the time and you've made the mental commitment to be there. So that is already a huge piece. So I kind of remind everybody of that, that you're already halfway there at least. And then bringing everybody centering on their mat, arriving, closing, closing our eyes, connecting with our breath, clearing our minds and letting everything go and just finding that breath in your body and being very conscious of where it's how it feels and bringing the breath into your body. And then with a long exhale, releasing and taking about at least five minutes of mindfulness and breath work before each practice to prepare your mind for the physical practice to come. And I just think that that is, it's so important and um, can just be there and do that really for the rest of the practice. If somebody decides this is, this feels really good and this is where I want to stay, then that is still yoga. And that is something you can do anywhere at any time. Yes, the breath is the meter and it's, it's, it's essential to be in touch with the meter. Yes. It's not where the hand is going or where the trunk is twisting uh, exclusively. It's, it's just all part of what is in the yes. flow. And that's, uh, that's what drives it. So that's really beautiful that you're staying with that continuous element for our practitioners. Um, also in, in the class, uh, we have this sphere of people touched by cancer, but the big part of that is how Amy shares her love. So what would be a, a good introduction for what someone might experience specifically about Amy, because you've shared the breath but what, how does Amy get her passion across? What, what could that be like in class? Well, since I begin with the, the breath and the centering, we move into the practice, my practice specifically on Tuesday nights, if you call this yoga, my uh, an energy healing, uh, ener energy healing practice. I, I do provide you an opportunity to kind of explore uh, maybe a, a different type of practice and, um, a little bit more movement maybe. So um, there's just an element of energy that I, I provide in my classes. We, we don't move fast, but we probably move a little bit faster maybe. So I don't like to say fast, just maybe a little faster with our breath. So when, instead of holding your breath for maybe five or three, uh, three to five cycles, maybe just move with a constant inhale and exhale and with bigger body movements always i do always provide a a flow the, the um sun sun salutation flow a surya namaskar and just really moving full body movements even our stretches tend to be bigger body stretches so um just just a kind of just more energy and movement in my in my practice kind of wow. your heart gets up a little bit more mm -hmm. cool I can appreciate that because we're in a pretty static nature these days. Yes. Um, that part is really great. Just getting, a, it's an opportunity for more movement mm -hmm. and more breathing. We breathe a little bit more with that movement, kind of an energizing. Mm -hmm. I guess that, that hopefully that explains it. Y'all have to just come try it. <laughs> yes, viewers. And, and that's the point is. Yeah. Tuesday evening, and if it's December 1st, you'll be following this interview next. But if not, this is part of the 
dessert element of the day where Amy's evening class can give you that essential release and an sense of exploration. And that's why we're asking you to explore supporting us with your donations and qualifying for raffles today, as well as advancing the benefits of yoga around the world. Amy is part of this team. We have teachers from all over. Amy, um, as we're getting ready to wind this down and transition to your class, any other thoughts that people can be preparing in this transition from the interview? Well, um, get some water for sure. And um, you, you probably have already prepared yourself as far as having the time and the space. I did a blog on our You Call This Yoga about how you have now, we now have a home, we have our home practice. So we have our home yoga studio, which there's like a, there's a mind shift, I think, when you move into the studio. It used to happen for me. It's familiar space. It's familiar smells, sensations, and friends, and I just kind of, oh, as soon as I walked into my the yoga studio, I felt so great. Well, now my yoga studio is at home, so I can kind of go there anytime I need to feel that feeling that I used to feel in the sanctuary of my, my studio. And so do, you'll be able to start there. And then uh, it's fun. That's the other thing is it's uh, that move. You'll find that the, my class is um, with that movement and that breath connection. It's and it's at a perfect time and during the week because it's at the end of the day when it's not too late in the day. So you still have some of that energy to burn. It's not the end of the week. Um, it's not Monday night. I don't know. It seems like this Tuesday night class is just so perfect. You're it's the end of the day, but you haven't necessarily eaten yet. And um, you're not ready for bed. So I, I look really forward to practicing with you and connecting initially, centering, arriving, and then breathing and moving together. Lovely. Viewers, let's get ready for Amy's class, but you still have a few minutes to donate and then find your mat. We look forward to seeing you here on this Tuesday and other nights in our You Call This Yoga array of classes. Thank you, Amy. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs>